pretty nice day out, I hope. You're in a better mood than you were last night. I heard you crying. Or should I say I felt you felt the tears swell in your eyes fall like raindrops crash into the concrete of your cheeks roll down to your stomach where I feel every drop. And I know they say that we're connected by this cord in my stomach, but for some strange reason, I feel like it's a little more than that. I think our hearts are attached. I think somewhere in this room full of wires, our minds acquired a higher understanding of each other. But when you close your eyes at night, mine are open. And we both know that I can only see this world through a fallopian lens. So I thank you for sharing your dreams with me. I thank you for sharing your dreams of me growing to be six foot something to God of a college that you never dreamed of applying to. These dreams of me wearing a white coat with yellow gloves with clear goggles and a clear mind as I focus on finding the cure of cancer cells or AIDS or whatever we play in the world 20 years from nine months from today. But last night, last night you had a dream that I probably shouldn't have seen. You had the doctor on your back, staring through the valley between your knees and you're crying again. Then the doctor picks up a strange looking pen, pricks, period, point, position precisely above my head. And you just lay on your back quietly like you're okay with this. And he draws his sword, shaped scaffold, starts to stab, stick, strike, and scramble. My underdeveloped limbs, mommy, why are you condoning this? Why are you letting this man rip me from my home, rip me from the only other person I've ever known, rip me from my only opportunity of ever even being able to watch the throne, let alone be able to seize it like you dreamt I could? Mommy, I want to live. Mommy, I need to get your heart involved because as of right now, all you seem to care about is the mouth of the media saying that you'll never be able to keep up if you keep me. Never be able to afford that when you have to spend bread to feed me. Never be able to reach that when you have to use both hands to hold me. But hold me down, Mom. I can't fight oh. this war from inside this room. I need a foot soldier on the outside that's literally living for it too. So before you send me off to this trash can tomb, just feel all this love I'm trying to send through this tube. I don't know why you don't want me, but love is love, and you're gonna do what you're gonna do. But when you have my little brother or sister, they better have some goddamn input too. Um. I should be asleep by now, but sleep doesn't seem to come easy these days. So I'm up talking to you from underneath the roof of a 1983 Chevrolet Caprice leather seats for blankets and 35% tents for night lights. We left the world we once knew many moons ago. It's been two months now that I've been walking this earth with you fast asleep in my womb. And it's been two months since we've slept in a bed, let alone stepped inside my old room. Blame your grandmother for throwing her only daughter to the wolves with nothing but a set of car keys and a couple of memories that always seem to crawl back like a lonely shadow. I wish that everything could just go back to how it used to be. There was a time before you that I was considered a walking mural. A piece of art in a pair of heels with a mind that could cripple the strongest of novel spines and a soul like a steel pipe. They couldn't break me no matter how hard they tried. But lately, lately this steel pipe has been showing signs of rust. There's no way to tell exactly how much but trust that I feel myself getting weaker every day. And the only thing that keeps my mind off this pain is you. 
Sometimes I wonder if you can see all of these plans formulating in my mind. I wonder if you can hear me dreaming this loudly at night sometimes. Sometimes it gets so reckless that I end up in some big ass gym cheering on some skinny little black boy that looks just like me. Or patiently patting the brow of the most beautiful doctor my eyes have ever seen. You did happen to have my nose, my lips, and my cheeks. Everything else was all so unique. And I know that this may sound crazy, but the best part about these dreams is that when I wake up in the morning is another chance for everything to become reality in the morning. I'll tell your father that you are a gift and not a curse. I'll tell him that it'll be his blood that carries the life through your veins. And it'll be his eyes that you're forced to see this cold world. You put it all on the table and dare him to tell me that I can't keep you in the morning. I put all the evil from my mother's heart and force her to love the life that she created in the morning. I'm awakened from dreams that I've dreamt for far too long and I pray that one day you can feel the sunshine on your skin between the warmth of my arms tucked gently underneath the love of my chin. You are my child. And it's time for any good mother to let her child go to bed. Thank <laughs> you.